And now a message from our sponsor. Hey everybody, it's Bootleg Captain, Captain Bootlegs here. Yeah! If you're like me, I bet you're enjoying this Toys, Toys on Tap, Tap podcast. I am enjoying it, it's very nice. But did you know you can enjoy it more just by joining that Patreon? Oh, I did not know that. There are so many cool perks available on the Patreon for you. There's <laughs> and also <laughs> and and wow, that's really a lot of stuff if you ask Bootleg Captain. Captain I don't Bootleg. understand, there were noises I couldn't hear with the perks. So join today to support Toys on Tap podcast and Bootleg Art Toys. But if you're not in a position to join the Patreon, head on over to Apple iTunes and review and subscribe. That helps out the channel as well. Okay, I'll go rate it, I guess. And remember, listen to Toys, Toys on, on Tap. Tap. Captain Bootleg, the bootleg captain sent you. Why did he keep referring to himself in the third Can person? I stop with the stupid voice now? I'm not sure why you made me want to sound like a pirate. Oh, so that was a fake voice. Oh, yucko! I, was doing. I didn't realize it was just a pretend voice. Oh. There we I'm go. <laughs> nice, nice. Do you, you would you happen to have headphones or no? Uh, no. Okay, that's okay. We'll make it work. So the turn, turn, a casque or pas? Ah, mais on n'aura pas le le truc pour brancher. Ah, c'est un. Ouais. Uh, so no, I don't have. That's fine. We can make it work. No worries. Uh welcome to Toys on Tap. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad that you, we could make it work. It's uh, 7.30 this morning right here. So I'm <laughs> okay, <laughs> in the afternoon right here. Yeah, I'm glad that we could make it work. I, I'm stoked. Uh, I remember um, when I first started making toys, seeing a couple of yours and thinking like, oh, I want to make toys like that. Like those oh, are, thanks. yeah. <laughs> the same for me. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, I, we can jump right into it. Do you want to... Uh, Tell everyone who you are and how long you've been making toys. Okay, so I'm Pedro. Uh, I live in France, uh, south of France, Marseille. And I started making toys, uh, I think, two years ago. It was uh, during the lockdown. Was lockdown pretty crazy in France during COVID and everything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you weren't allowed to leave your house or anything, right? Just like Sorry? the rest of the world. Were you allowed to leave your house or anything like the rest of the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like okay. awesome. Um, what made you want to start making toys during COVID? Uh, it was because uh, it was impossible to work. <laughs> so yeah. I was in my house. And um, I'm a Star Wars collector. Mm. I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, Star Wars figures. Yeah. And um, I was following a lot of uh, a lot of count, uh, accounts, and uh, while following uh, Star Wars accounts, I started following uh, accounts like uh, yours, mm -hmm. uh, Death by Toys, uh, Lighting Bolts, and uh, I had the the idea of making making my own toys, but I didn't have time. Yeah, and uh, during the lockdown, so it was possible. Nice. How long have you been collecting Star Wars toys? Oof. Something like I don't know, uh, fifteen years. Oh, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> it was a long time. And so, uh, how? So this is an interesting thing. How you've been collecting Star Wars toys? At what point did you make the jump to look at um, like bootleg toys or like artist toys? Hmm. Really, really don't know. Um, as as I said, uh, when uh, when I starting uh, f following uh, following guys like uh, like lighting bolts or or the famous Sir Claude, of course. Yeah. And nice. I was like, uh, okay, I collect toys, so I can do toys. Yeah. Did I'm you? Gonna do it even. Did you grow up collecting toys and playing with a lot of toys and stuff? Mm, not collecting, playing, yes. Okay. G.I. Joe, and, uh, but not Star Wars when I was young. Was it... So this is always the question. I love hearing um, about other countries and uh, how what it's like collecting mm -hmm. toys and stuff. How hard is it to get... Or is it hard to get Star Wars figures in France? Yes, it's hard. Uh, I collect a vintage collection. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the stuff, and I buy I buy it. Yeah, now there's a, a shop 
in the um, north north of France mm -hmm. online shop. But uh, we don't have vintage collection in the like in the US everywhere in Walmart or because we don't have Walmart. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if it, like when you do collect them, or is it just all international uh, orders unless the online shop has it in north of France? Both. Yeah. International and uh, online shop in, uh, in France. Yeah. France, UK and, uh, and the US. Yeah. Do you have the full collection of vintage Star no, Wars? No, 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 <laughs> no. Nice. No, but something like I think uh, two two hundred figures, something like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are they all yeah. on display? Uh, for now, they are in boxes. <laughs> but okay. one day, I wish. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, what is because you make toys? Yeah. Um, and you've been doing it for a couple of years. Can you describe what the toy making scene is like in France or if there is one? I don't know if there is one. Mm -hmm. uh, I follow one guy. Uh, his name is, uh, let, let me see on Instagram. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> exactly. I think it's uh, MRT Toys, something like that. No. Um, M. Yes, it's M Art I Toys. It's a, a guy in uh, north of France, I think. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think there's really a bootleg a bootleg scene in, in France. Yeah, in Spain, in Spain, yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, in France, I don't think. Yeah, I know of. Um, I think the closest that I know of is like uh, the UK with like based gore and um, lightning bolts and all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is crazy. Uh, how did you even, because if you're collecting star Wars toys, how did you even first see uh, like one of these made toys? I really don't know. It's because of the uh, the Instagram algorithm, I think. Yeah, you got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so, so someday, someday there was a lightning bolts uh, figure. It was um, De Niro in Casino. Mm -hmm. And I sent him a message like, yeah. uh, how do you do that? Yeah. And he told me, uh, I, cast, I, um, I cast figures. And I was on Google casting figures. So, yeah. So, is it if it's tough to get all the figures sometimes and then tough to like, there's not many artists, is it tough to get all the supplies to make it? Uh, no, in France, no. Okay. No, I, um, I ordered the blisters in uh, Germany. Uh huh. Uh, a nice guys in Germany. And uh, and the resin in uh, the resin is in Amsterdam. Okay, so it's you still have to order different countries. Yeah, yeah, because uh, if you want uh, smooth on smooth on stuff, yeah, we don't have smooth on in France. Mm -hmm. In Amsterdam, yes, Amsterdam okay. or Spain, but we don't have good uh, poly polyurethane resin in France. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> when you, because you have, you've made a couple toys that I like absolutely fell in love with. Uh, you made uh, the one that it's, is it Mary holding pizza? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you come up with that concept? What, what made you and, think I want to make that? Yeah. It's because uh, this, this Mary yeah. is from, from my country. From Marseille, mm -hmm. uh, you have to search on uh, on Google. It's uh, the name is um, Notre Dame uh -huh. de la Garde. Okay. I will send you. I will send you on uh, Instagram. Great, it's very very famous. And um, in Marseille, we love, but every people re really love eating pizza. Yeah, it's something like uh, the traditional traditional food in Marseille is pizza. Ah, perfect i love pizza. Because, uh, because years ago there was a lot of um lot of italians 
mm-hmm. who came to Marseille to after go to New York. Yeah, and and they import the pizza and friends. Yeah, so uh, that's perfect. <laughs> and so you uh, you had to sculpt it, right? He had to sculpt pizza onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and buy uh, I buy a uh, plastic uh, plastic Mary. Uh-huh. And modify modify it and uh, and put a pizza on it. Yeah, and then mold and cast and then spray yeah. it gold, which is yeah. beautiful. Did you do some that were regular and some that were gold? Sorry. Did you paint some and then some were gold? Uh, I paint. I paint with uh, with gold paint. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 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 It came out so good. I remember Thanks. seeing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you made a figure. Uh, it's in French, so I don't know exactly what it says on it, but it's a trash can. Yeah. Yeah. What What is the wording that it says on the ah. back? Uh, I do both. I do um, I do one in French and one in English. Okay. Uh, uh, it was, sorry, I have to go in on my Instagram to, because I don't remember. Uh, it was, it was during the, the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, it was written. Uh, do you really want to delete the year uh, to um, twenty twenty? Oh, <laughs> yes, I do. I do. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm interested in um, the idea of like you making toys. Has it for you? Because you after the pandemic, you've gone back to work, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so has it slowed down? What is it like making toys now for you? Oh, I think it's the same because uh, I work for my own. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer mm-hmm. and a motion designer teacher. Mm-hmm. So I work at home and um, I got time to, to make toys and uh, my work too. So, yeah. What is so? What are some of the toys that you're currently uh, working on that you're excited about? I'm working on you. You saw my uh, my Darth Vader pizza. I did. I just saw. Uh, did you post just the top of the card back? No, no. I posted it uh, months months ago. It was a uh, Darth Vader with a mozzarella pack, uh, mozzarella cap. Oh, I'm gonna have to look right now. And now I'm I'm working on another one, another uh, Star Wars pizza one. Oh yeah, Pizza Wars. Yeah, that's awesome. Are you gonna do more of the figures like that? Yes, there's another one coming. Uh, I think in start of September. Nice. With uh, making toys and not having like a toy scene there. Do you work with, um, are you trying to get your toys in like toy conventions and things? No. No. Or how do you, how do you normally sell? There's no toy convention, I think. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) I think in France and, uh, and actually in my country, uh, I sell them on Etsy. Uh Etsy or only uh, if you send me a message or. Yeah. It's quite expensive, but uh, but I can say uh, I can send a, a lot of toys on NC on NC, So yeah. Different. Does it make international shipping easier to send on Etsy? Yeah, and I send a, a lot, a lot, a lot in the US. Yeah, there's so many the the toy scene is growing cr- like crazy in the US, and I, I don't know. Like uh, all those bootleg toys, there's so many toy artists now making action figures. So it's crazy to see it just exploding. Yeah, yeah. So it uh, not not in France for now, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah. So it in the US. Yeah. Have you? Um, there's a guy that connects all of us. His name is Dove. Oh yeah, from uh, DKE Toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you reached out to him to be a part of DKE? Uh, I never asked him, but uh, yeah, maybe. I'm telling he'll he loves yeah. working with new artists, so he'll throw you in. But I have to to send toys, and the shipping fees are very expensive. Yeah, 
But by the way, if if I send uh, something like ten toys, it could be possible. Yeah, yeah, because he does runs of we uh, when we make toys for him, we have to do runs of twenty or more. Okay. Yeah. So it makes it really worth it. I uh, I have to contact him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what with when uh you start collecting, what makes you want to collect all the Star Wars toys? Why Star Wars and nothing else? Uh, because uh, I, uh, I love the Star Wars story, yeah, really. And by the way, the toys, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's the question. How did did you like Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett and all those things? I like Mandalorian, but uh, not really Boba Fett. Okay, don't know why the the story is not not as good as the Mandalor- Mandalorian. I think no. Yeah. I love the yeah. character. I love the character of Boba Fett as everyone. But uh, the story was not very good. Obi-Wan is good. Yeah. Do you have plans on making a Boba Fett pizza? Mm, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that we, what's cool is like in the toy scene, we all at one point have to make something of Boba Fett just yeah. to say, here it is. I love yours, uh, Bob A. Fett. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was fun to make. Uh, I don't know. So I, when I grew up, I didn't grow up with the movies because I grew up in the 90s. So um, I watched them um, and collected Power of the Force. So I was always more interested in like the Ewoks or like the animals, like the yeah. giant dewback and stuff. Um, and so I thought that if I wanted to create a Boba Fett toy, it had to be something really weird and really different because i don't want to <laughs> make a boba fett toy that's a good idea yeah thanks thank you thank you uh but yeah that's where i was headed so here is the question because i don't collect uh star wars toys i used to have all the power of the force in the 90s but then they all disappeared i got rid of them <laughs> um the question i always ask do you have uh the aman aman figure no i don't that one's so hard to come by isn't it yeah Yeah, i don't i don't even think i've seen it in person me too (laughs) (laughs) i've never seen it (laughs) yeah um but yeah so that's uh, those are always crazy so when you uh first started creating toys and you first uh wanted to create um the Mary with pizza or the, the, the trash can. Um, how did you figure out how to mold? Like, who did you look up? What were you doing when you were trying to figure out how to mold and cast? I went on YouTube. Uh, there's a guy, what's his name? He's very famous. Steady crafting. Yeah. Steady crafting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched all the videos. Mm-hmm. And I tried to make uh, one mold. It was uh, very difficult, a lot of bubbles. Uh, so I made a second mold and a third mold and four mold. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, but... Uh... We interrupted this broadcast of Toys on Top to bring you this. Meanwhile, the galaxy of bootleg treasures. DOV2, we have an engine failure. We must crash land on DKE Toy Planet. Oh my, we're doomed. Wait. Salvation! Hooray! We've saved DLP2! Limited edition custom artist made action figures and DKE toys! Check out www.dkatoys.com for a full catalog. Hooray for custom action figures! DKE! At the end, it was uh, quite okay. Yeah. Do you work with a pressure pot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For, for one year now. Okay. Yeah, I uh I remember making those first molds and I ruined so much money. <laughs> the same. <laughs> yeah, cuz it was uh, for me um I forgot to mix them. And so yeah. when I poured them it just came out sticky and tacky and ah. yeah. But I I luckily I never had any problems with bubbles, which is nice. Um and then when you first started pouring did you know that you wanted to make 
uh, like a card back and everything, or were you just trying to figure out how to do it? Uh, I started to make uh, card backs, card backs first, because the the first figure I did uh, was not casted or something like that. It was the um, the razor blade from. Oh uh, uh, yeah. You no. Know? Yeah. So that that was the, the first one I did, and after the the recipe from the the good fellas. Mm -hmm. And after I, I tried the uh, the trash can. Yeah. And when you uh, made that, what made you, because I love when people do this, um, do you like casting and molding better or just finding something to put in the blister? I think both. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I really like to to sculpt and to, to cast it. In, it's satisfying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's easier. It's easier to uh, to buy something on Amazon and to put it on a blister. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the idea with uh, with interested with interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like uh, the because it takes so much work to make toys sometimes and come up with ideas that sometimes when I watch a movie or a show. It's just so much easier to get something and throw it in the blister. <laughs> yeah. And people, what's, I don't know if you've noticed this. Um, sometimes, for me at least, those toys, they sell way better than my own toys. Yes. Always. Yeah. Always. And I don't understand how that happened. I don't understand why that is. It's weird. I don't know. Sometimes I, sometimes I work for two months on a toy. Mm -hmm. like sculpting, casting, painting, and everything else. And I can sell uh, something like 10 toys in uh, five months. And sometimes I, I only put uh, some shit in a blister and uh, and sell uh, 50 toys in uh, in one week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I uh, the, that happened when I was, uh, when I first started, I made uh, a Mario toy. Yeah, and I painted. Uh, it's like that old Nintendo, and I painted a yellow cotton ball with red on it. Yeah, and, and I called it his fireball. Okay, and it went nuts, and people bought like 30, 40, 50 of them in a week. Yeah. But then I, yeah, I made one of my own, and I really took all the time and care, and no one wanted it. It was such a weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ID is is more important than the. Uh... Than the work yeah but sometimes sometimes so you don't know yeah and i it's hard i don't know about you but it's hard sometimes to to figure out what people want yeah and so i think i like i like just creating what makes me happy instead of trying to figure out every five seconds what people want it's quite it's quite difficult. Uh, you will see uh, my my next uh, my my next toy is coming now. Uh, what time is it? Something is like you know, something like uh, two or three hours. I'm gonna show you if you want. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Wait. Yeah. But I don't know if people will, will like it. Oh, that's incredible! The Lord of War. You remember the, that scene? Yeah. Uh, with Raveletto. Yep. So there's a razor blade, some cocaine, not real cocaine, and a one dollar bill. And on yeah. the back, you have the Ukraine map. Oh, <laughs> that's perfect. I think people are going to love it. <laughs> Maybe. We, we will see in, in two hours. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, I. So my favorite thing is that two of your figures now have razor blades in them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so, do you have a uh, a specific type of toy that you like to create? Do you like to stay with making over the Star Wars figures? Do you like to like make toys from movies? Do you like to make toys with a statement? Not really. It depends on what I what I like. Uh, the movies I see, the yeah. show. Uh, I made a, st a Stranger Things uh, toy. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Yeah. And then when you, um, this is an interesting one. When you make those toys, if there isn't a toy scene in France, do a lot of people buy them in France? 
it depends on the toys. Yeah. Uh, um, but usually it's more in the US. Yeah, okay. More in the US, but uh, uh, in France, uh, a lot of people uh, buy my uh, La N toys, you know, with the co. Yeah. Because it's a French movie, so. Yeah. That makes but sense. Usually, yeah. Usually, I uh, I sell more uh, more toys in US in the US. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, interesting. Uh, we just had Comic Con, and it's just crazy how many like uh, between like us making toys and then uh, all these companies making art toys and stuff. It's crazy how many people are now collecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um. Uh, when when did you start you making toys? Uh, twenty twenty, right when the pandemic, right when we shut down. I started the same time. Yeah, like like me. Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. And it was like, I think I saw, uh, Suck Lord. Yeah, and someone told me about him, and I saw some of his work, and then I saw Death by Toys, and so for the yeah. first like bit of what i did i would just throw things in blisters i didn't make anything until a little bit later that year when i made um ronald mcdonald stuck in carbonite yeah yeah so yeah i do miss having all that time from the pandemic i miss having like all that time to work on toys and stuff but Mm. it's good to be here so with that new toy coming out today yeah it'll already be out when this airs so that's good i hope people bought it um and then you have more pizza wars coming out yeah in uh september i think nice when you look into the future for pedro toys um where do you think where do you want to head what are some big projects that you want to do it's a good question. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, but uh, I may maybe uh, doing vinyl vinyl toys. Yeah, could be great. Yeah, but I think it's a little bit expensive. Mm-hmm. But you because you have to to do the master and uh, to, and make it happen. So I think the the cheaper is in Mexico, no? Uh, yeah, Mexico and China. Yeah. And yeah. Japan, but uh, uh, shipping fees in Japan you know, are very expensive. Yeah. Would you want to do a, um, like, the Safubi style, soft vinyl, or, like, a different style? Yeah, yeah, soft vinyl, yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, so here's the question. Do you know what you would want to create out of the soft vinyl? I don't know, but uh, kids are really, really tasty stuff, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm always interested in soft vinyl. We've had um, uh, Last Bastion has come on uh, and then Neil Ewing, and they both make soft vinyl and big kaiju pieces, and they're incredible. And it's it's always crazy to think, like, how do you get started in that? And they, they work with factories all over the world. I went a lot of time, uh, lot of times in Japan. Mm-hmm. And they are soft vinyl everywhere in Japan. Yeah. The so that's interesting. Whenever you go, how many times have you been to Japan? Uh, something like uh, five or six times, I think. Did you ever? I got buy... a lot of friends in Japan. Uh, okay. Sorry. Did you ever buy a bunch of the soft vinyl? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, and so you and you now collect soft vinyl as well. If it's Star Wars stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh yeah i i i haven't ever been there but i've heard that the toy market is crazy there it's really really crazy yeah yeah we i just had um high toys on last week and he is a new toy artist from japan and yes yeah. and he has uh his toys are in these like do you know what a quarter machine is uh no it's uh 
so in the U.S., it's like a, one of our coins. You put it in a machine and you turn it and you get a toy out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In Japan, he was saying that they, they, they're more expensive, but you get real toys. Yeah. And that's how he's doing his toys now. And it's, it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, the, the the name of those machines in Japan is uh Is it Gacha Gacha? Gacha Pon. Gacha Pon. Yeah. Yeah. And so he I think he bought one and put it out and he uses it and um it's a pretty cool idea. I didn't ever think about doing that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. As we are coming to the end, what are some things that you want to plug? I leave the last part of the um episode for you to tell people where to go buy your stuff, where they can find you, how they can get in touch with you, all those things. Okay. So they just have to go to Instagram on Pedro's toys and uh, they can send me a message. Yeah. Or on my, or on the Etsy shop, but uh, it's better to send me a message. We can discuss. Thank you so much for being on toys on tap. Uh, It it means the world. Um, Thanks a lot. Toys on tap. Toys on tap. The next episode. The next episode. It's great. It's amazing. You're gonna want to listen to it. <laughs> it's not right now though. You're gonna have to wait till the next episode to listen to it. Oh, when's that? The next one. Cool. Toys on tap. Toys on tap. The next one's gonna be good too. So stay tuned and and, and listen to that. Toys on tap. Awesome.